I remember the first song that I wrote on piano was a song called Superman. I was like probably like nine years old. I don't know why I remember this song. It's like stuck with me for all these years. It's like, I don't need no Superman to come and save me, to come and teach me lessons, cause I'm a human being and I can't clean up my own messes. <laughs> It's very em empowered. Hey Teen Vogue, I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and today I'm here to share some of my firsts. The first song I wrote for Sour was Happier. I wrote it in between takes of like a dance number that I was doing on this show, and it was like this super happy dance number, and I was like in the corner like, I hope you're happy. But yeah, I wrote that when I was like 16. Gosh, I was so young when I first started auditioning. I think it was for like parenthood or something like that. I just, I don't even remember. I was probably like six years old. My first thing that I booked was an Old Navy commercial. And I thought I was so cool for booking the Old Navy commercial. I felt so proud of myself. I, feel, I probably would have gone on like 300 auditions or something crazy and like went on 150 auditions before I ever like got anything. I don't know, it's a, it's a crazy industry. <laughs> My first red carpet, I was probably like 12 or 13 years old and it was for this like PS Arts or something like that. I was so nervous, I didn't know how to pose, I like didn't know what to wear, like did my own hair and makeup and I was like 12 years old and it looked terrible. <laughs> I think sometimes it gets a little daunting to think that your job description is just like digging up stuff that makes you feel pain and like giving it to people to criticize. <laughs> um, sometimes I'm definitely scared of that, but I wouldn't have it any other way and I think that's the beauty of songwriting. They did an SNL sketch about driver's license. Wait, what am I listening to? <laughs> driver's license by Olivia Rodrigo, man. It was on my 18th birthday and they did this entire sketch about the song and I just remember like sitting in my living room and being like, what is going on? That's so crazy, this can't be real. <laughs> The first time, oh my gosh, my whole life is embarrassing. That everything's gonna work out, and um, I tell her to take more pictures. No, I just feel like I don't have a lot of pictures of my youth to look back on. I, I was really good about writing in my diaries, though, and I kept all of them. They're all in my like childhood room. I'd write like every day, just like little minutia of what I was doing as like a third grader. So I have those to look back on, but I don't really have too many pictures. When I wake up, the first thing I do, admittedly, is check my phone. I'll check my text messages, and if I'm being bad, I'll check Instagram and sometimes scroll on TikTok, but that can sort of be a long ordeal, so I try not to. Um, I remember when Driver's License came out, the first time someone recognized me from that song was in this like soda bar. I was like in Utah, and they have like soda bars where you just like go and like get like craft sodas. And uh, one of the people that was giving me my soda recognized me and said that they really liked my song, and I was like, what? That's so crazy. I saw Weezer um, at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. I was probably like seven or eight, and I got uh, like a pink Weezer t-shirt. Um, and I still have it to this day. I wear it to bed all the time. It was so cool when I met Michelle Obama. I was like so starstruck, and she's so like tall and beautiful. And um, yeah, I'll remember that moment for the rest of my life. <sighs> this is a tricky one because I don't think there was ever a moment where I was like, this is what I want to do. It's just always been something that has been inside of me and I've kind of never wavered or faltered on that. One of the singing competitions I won that had like this big check and it was probably like $150 or something. And I was like, I am a millionaire. This is incredible. And um, I don't know, I've just always loved like performing for people. And that was a cool moment for me in my like nine year old life, I suppose. My first time on stage um, in the lobby of this like <laughs> casino and they were having like a fundraiser or something so it was like this fancy dinner and I was five years old in like a little black JC Penny dress singing songs on my microphone as people like walked in and they were like oh so cute <laughs> actually like a couple days ago I performed my first set at the iHeartRadio music festival and that was incredible uh, and it was just so cool to see people like singing along to these songs that I had written in my living room. There's um, really no experience more surreal than that. Mm. I love taking baths. Um, there is nothing quite like a hot Epsom salt bath, so I'd say Epsom salt. I don't know. This is like kind of like a non-answer, but I really like have been trying to reframe the way that I think about 
disappointment. It all like led me to where I am today and I've been really trying to like trust in the universe and realize that whatever happens is meant to happen and no experience is ever wasted. Oh, my first thought when I woke up today is, wow, the Teen Vogue shoot is at 11 and it's really far and I should leave now and I'm late. <laughs>